beautiful dreamers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss ills. Snowflake ills to be exact. So, let's get into the video and I will give you some information about these awesome creatures. Alright, so I'm going to show you some footage of Evie and how I feed her during mealtimes and cool, you know, ill stuff. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the footage since you came to see an ill. Okay, so what kind of size tank do you need for your new ill? I've done a lot of research on tank size and they say 50 gallons is the minimum. But some people debate this and say you should go larger. Now in my opinion, this is a 55 gallon and that's okay for one ill. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than that because they do get big. They get about two feet long, though they can get a little bit larger than that. But they shouldn't exceed three feet. Some people say to always go bigger, so if that's an option for you, then I'd recommend a larger aquarium. Come on out, Evie. Come eat your fish. She'd like to smell it. You get in the water? Over here, baby. I'll have her for once. She's looking at the wrong area. She's like, but mommy's over here. Mommy doesn't have it. I don't have it, baby girl. Daddy has it for once. He's gonna feed you. She's looking at me like, well. Just put it like, way in. So let's talk about what to feed your eel. An eel will eat anything it can get a hold of. It all depends on personality. Evie is a very good eel. I was always skeptical to get her at first because I thought she was going to eat all my fish. And so I waited until they're a little bit bigger, but I, she can eat silver sides. They're about like that long. She will devour it, the entire thing within 30 seconds. But she has no interest in my actual live fish. I've also had uh, live clams in here with her before I took them out and put them in my other aquarium. And but she had no interest in them either. But if they're frozen, delicious. <laughs> she also likes frozen uh, scallops, frozen mussels. She likes frozen shrimp, but she again she won't eat anything that's live. And I've heard some stories of some eels that eat the most expensive fish in your tank, or they eat everything in your tank. <laughs> Evie, I was like I said, I was so worried that she would eat everything, but she has not. And even during feeding time, they said that they might snap at the fish that are eating when you're, you know, hand feeding them or tongue feeding them. And she doesn't. She swims like right by them. She'll sniff them, and they're like, eh, don't want you. Give me the frozen food. So I'm very grateful that she does, you know, that's her personality, and she's a good, good eel. I love her so much. It's definitely fun to watch. Alright, so this is what I've been feeding Evie. These nastiest, disgusting, most ugh, that's what it is. Alright, come get it, Evie. There she goes. She's wrestling with it. Meowth, she's watching. <laughs> Meowth, Meowth, hanging onto the camera. There you are. She usually has no trouble taking that whole thing. Trying to kill it. You trying to kill it? That one was actually a little big. So she usually gulps it immediately. She's still trying to kill it. <laughs> I 
can't really see much, but I see Giselle back there. <laughs> Snooping. All right, well, my battery is now. The, the lights moved. Does use the tongs in so that she reaches deeper? She was gonna bite. She is. There you go, girl. I'll hold on to it for a second. Okay. So what's the temperament of an ill? Again, it all goes down to personality. Uh, but they are listed as semi aggressive and they are capable of killing your livestock. So I recommend putting them as more semi-aggressive fish that can stand their own. And if you have one in a reef tank, they can eat your crustaceans, but they shouldn't touch a coral. So you know, use a caution if you have crustaceans or anything like that. I've never had crustaceans in this aquarium, so I don't know if Evie would go like crazy for them. So I think that's all for care. See, so I covered food, temperament. I always forget something when I'm editing, then I always like, oh yeah, I gotta put that in. That's why I always text my videos of me missing something or saying something wrong. Now another thing I want to say is that you must have a tight lid because eels like to commit suicide. <laughs> they will jump. If your lid is not properly secure, they can jump out of your tank and then be dried up spaghetti on your floor, which is not good. You don't want that. So I recommend getting a tight fitted lid. That's the number one rule. Big Evie's grown. About oh, bigger than my hand. I got food for you, girl. Fast. <laughs> Stay still. She's <laughs> hungry. All right, so that is it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I'm too tall. This will probably be the last video in this apartment because I am moving in about one week. <laughs> so I'm going to make a vlog of how I'm going to take down this tank and my other tank, my 10 gallon, and I'm going to take you through the process of taking it down, packing things up, and getting everything in the car, from the movie van, and then setting it back up at the new house. So you won't be seeing this anymore. Hopefully, oh. <laughs> Hope we all have much better light in my new house, in my new bedroom. Can't wait. Alright, I will see you in the near future. <laughs> Bye.